What's smashing y'all? Today I'm going to talk to you about Kick's new clipping system, where to find it, and how it actually works. So, let's talk about it. So, usually the first place you're going to check is your creator dashboard. But to be honest, it's not there. But the easiest way to find it is once you're in your creator dashboard, or before you even load into Kick, just go to your channel. Once you go to your channel, you're still going to be looking for clips because you don't really see it. We got to scroll down to the bottom. So when we scroll down to the bottom, you find the clips right here. It says about videos and clips. So they just recently changed their clipping system. And I actually think it's pretty dope because if you want to, you can even go back to your past VODs and make clips out of the past VODs. But here it is. So here it comes down to all your clipping and it tells you who clipped the, um, the video for you. And it's pretty dope. So. I come down here and I have the clips that my mods made for me. So you'll see down here, clip by Tan the Man, clip by my lady, uh, clip by my lady, mostly clip by my lady, and also clip by Tan, right? So the good thing about this is if you go up here to the right hand side, it tells you um, by likes, views, or your date. So if you want to go by date, you can figure out what days you made the clip and how long it's actually been. So right here it goes in order, it says four days, four days, four days, four days, nine days, 10 days, 16 days, 16 days. Uh, 22 days a month ago a month ago uh, so here's all our clips that you can actually go through and check so when you come here say I don't want I want to see my overwatch clip all right so we're gonna go overwatch six kills let's click on it I am a mature content streamer so is actually if you want to watch 18 plus uh, this is overwatch so it shouldn't be too drastic but then again I'm not sure about me and what I said in the video but I'm gonna just show you how it works so we can start watching It'll start up in your clip and you can watch. You can also hear it. He's almost flashed. I don't have my headset on. But this is probably one of the, my favorite moments here. So I'm going to actually pause it. The cool thing about this is once you have your clip here and you want to download it or you want to convert it to mobile or if you want to share it or if you want to like it, it's all here. It lets you do it all right here. So say I already, I already watched this clip a few times. I actually already posted it on my social media. But I don't want to download it. But look, if you want to from here, if you want to share, look, I click on my Twitter. It'll go straight to my Twitter and then it's ready to post this clip for me so I can share it. So that's super dope. That's super awesome if you think about it. So you come back here. Say if I want to share it to Facebook, more than likely it'll let me face Bam. Pick.com. It'll send you directly to my clip, which is pretty dope because it does count your views. I mean, you also can copy your URL so you can post it yourself wherever you want. So it's pretty cool the way that they have it set up. And the cool thing about it is, so say I go to my videos the last time I was live and I go to, I know for a fact I finished with a dub. So I wanna come all the way here. I'm gonna press play and I know for a fact that we won. So I'm probably gonna go to like the three minute mark. And the pretty dope thing about this is even though it's a past VOD and you can hear all the audio, yeah, where is it? I'm actually gonna mute it so you don't have double audio. So let's say we go to the end where I know for a fact we're about to win. We're waiting for people all around. All right now we're in a super big fight. It's super intense. And even though it's muted, you can see that I'm loving it. Uh, I'm super into it. And this is actually how the match finishes. This is the last person running away from us, trying to get away from us. And then I believe we beat them. Or actually, yeah, this is how we won the match. And it's cool because right now I'm watching a VOD. Obviously, you see me down here and then you see me up there. So this is a VOD. And good thing about this is after I finish something, after the game is done, you can come back to this VOD and you create a clip. So you saw I just got that dub. I'm so super excited. I'm like, yeah, we won. Now I can go create a clip. Obviously, I'm not watching. I'm right here. And look, it'll let me go take that whole moment back to the ending of how I want it. And it's so easy to publish it. You just come up here and then you uh then you just come up here and you post what you want it to be. So I'm gonna be like Naraka Blade and then I'll save that, okay? So I'll put I'll name it Naraka Blade and then we have it here set up and now I just went back to the last minute to show you that I just recorded it straight from a VOD. So obviously I click post. And then now here you have it. It gives you your Twitter. You can copy the URL. You can share it. 
Actually, you can just back out of it. And if, if you want to find your clips, it's right here down in the bottom. It's super simple, super easy to find. But a lot of people are used to looking at the creator dashboard because of other platforms. So I just wanted to show you where it was located at. I want to show you that you can go through VODs, that you can edit your clips. Right? And even if you go through here, look, I'm looking at this one minute clip. Right? I start watching. I'm going to mute it so you guys don't have the double audio. But even, look, uh, you click on it right here. And Streamlabs makes you cross clip. Once you sign up, with, um, once you have your account and you sign in. It'll help you uh, change it to a vertical clip. Even though you should be using the OBS plugin vertical that I talked about in one of my previous videos. And you should also know how to convert a clip in DaVinci Re Resolve if you have to. But it's cool that Streamlabs gives you that option and that it's here integrated with Kick. So it's super dope and I recommend you check it out because um, look, it just goes and goes and goes. These are all the clips I have up to four months ago since I've been on Kick. These are all my clips. And if I want to now, I can just download it and save it. And I think that's pretty dope. So I know this is a super short video. And if you haven't yet, please don't forget to smash the subscribe button. Kick's been working on the, all the features on the platform. And I think it's pretty dope. And I recommend you should check it out. Uh, clipping is one of the biggest parts. And I just want to show you where it's at, how to do it. The fact that you can do it off of VOD. And the same way you did it off the VOD is the same way it can be done during a live stream. Uh, once again, you're watching the West Smashing Web Show. If you learned anything, please don't forget to smash that like button or smash that subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to have a smashing day. I'm your boy Smash, and I'm up. Peace.